Let me tell you, let me tell you about that chicken grease. Anyway, Chicken Grease is a song that I co-wrote with Questlove and the innovator, the genius that is D'Angelo. First met D'Angelo in Philly. We were in the studio working with Erica Badu on her first album, Baduism. And D, I think it was on the tail end of his Brown Sugar tour. And uh, he came down from New York and hung out in the studio with us one day. And it turned into an epic jam session where we were both playing keyboards. Quest was on drums. And uh, Erica, along with the group The Jazzy Fat Nasties, was singing background. Three, four hours of nonstop songs, music, cover songs, creating new things. I think Quest still has the the tapes from that. It's pretty epic. So me and D'Angelo became pretty good friends. Um, he had a couple gigs. He he was a couple uh, spot dates that he did uh, after the tour, and I joined the band for a couple of those dates. Then he started work on um, the Voodoo album, and he was sequestered in Electric Lady Studios. Um, in the A room and just was just there uh, with his engineer, the legend Russ, the dragon Elevato and Quest Love. And they would just be up there all day, all night, listening to music, watching Soul Train videos and Prince and James Brown videos and listening to Zeppelin and and the Beatles and Hendrix and Funkadelic and listening to everything, old Stevie, listening to the Yodas, the uh, the term they coined for for the masters, and uh, listen to music and then and then playing, and then going in the room and just jamming and just playing for for hours. So I would I would go up there occasionally and hang out. I'd send the studio assistant Steve Mandel to go get me some food. You know, sit there. Listening, playing, hanging out, falling asleep, waking up at three in the morning. All right, let's go play some music. And we just jam for hours. And different musicians would come by Pino, uh, Raphael Sadiq, Ali Shaheed Muhammad. So I was there at times. Um, I would also be there working on other projects because the Roots were working on Things Fall Apart album, also in the same studio, as well as working on like what if a chocolate with common so it was just a a a melting pot of of people in this place just hanging out creating vibe and listening to each other's stuff and saying i I need to improve my stuff whatever whatever. so one night we're working in the c room which was the upstairs room at electric lady studios and uh we're working with common and writing a song that common uh, I'm sorry, that D'Angelo would would appear on for Common's album. And it's, again, this is late, like 2, 3 in the morning. We're in the room, just jamming. And we just happened upon this line. Hmm. So, just kept playing. Everybody's looking around like, okay, this feels like it could be something. Played the song for... Uh, I don't know, maybe an hour or so, and then recorded it. Boom. Um, listened to it quite a bit, and I think around six o'clock or so, I, or some. I, I remember the sun being up. It was like I gotta, I gotta go. I'm, I'm fried. So I walk out and attempt to get a cab. You know, <laughs> a black man trying to get a cab in New York. So I was out there for a bit. Eventually got in a cab. Uh and get to go to the hotel, which is in Midtown. Um, By the time I got there, D'Angelo's Range Rover pulls up and him and Questlove were in there and they were like, yo, get in here. And I'm dead tired. 
you know, I'm zonked out. I'm those guys are vampires. I stay up late sometimes, but I'm not a vampire like them. So I go in the back seat and they're listening to this song over and over and over and o- like beast mode over and over and over again. And these like, yo, I need this song for my album. I need this. I, I know what I can do with this song. I need it for my album. So they, they make a trade with, with common and uh, D'Angelo takes that track and we work on another song which turned out to be Ghetto Heaven for a Commons album so finish the track off D'Angelo gets Pino Palladino to come and play bass and if you notice if you listen closely to the, to the track there's a lot of noise in the background it's like a party there was a bunch of people in the studio who were all have, you know putting hand claps on the song and there's a lot of conversation going on everybody's cracking jokes and talking because that's the the, the theme of the song is, you know, stop being uptight, you know, get funky, have some fun. And at the very end, it sounds like Amir says, this will kill James's father, which, you know, I forget exactly what he said, but I, if you listen very closely, you hear, uh, the, uh, you hear Amir saying something like that. So, um, chicken grease is a term that Prince used when he wants his guitar players to play the 16th no strums during the funky part of the song. So that was the basis of the song. So D Angelo D'Angelo finishes the album and uh and then it's time to go on tour. So uh I joined the band for the tour along with again Pino, Quest, Jeff the late Jeff Lee Johnson was playing guitar. Uh, Anthony Hamilton singing background, the late Roy Hargrove playing horn. It was it was a really cool uh, musical experience. You know, I learned a lot from those guys. It was a it was a lot of fun. Uh, we all played characters in the band. You know, we all had our different outfits. I was the minister, and I had a, a preacher's robe on and a church fan. I don't know if you if any of you guys went to the tour, but. It was really fun. Real, it was a bit of a spectacle, and uh, and uh, uh, there was this particular part at the very end of the show where behind the stage there was like an elevated platform, elevated platform that would lower, and doing how does it feel? Doing how does it feel? One by one, the band members would walk up the, the platform and descend. And it was real emotional. I remember seeing people crying and stuff. So everybody would would descend until it was only me and D'Angelo left on stage. And we were playing we were trading the playing he's playing keys, I'm playing keys. And eventually I'd get up and walk off. And again I had the choir robe and the light was on me and my hands up and the robe was flowing and, and I'd really play up the 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 minister theme. It was it was a lot of fun. So after three months of touring, I left the tour because I had to go and work with uh, my sister and my studio wife, Erica, and help her co-produce her Mama's Gun album. So uh, it was a lot of fun. D'Angelo is is a legend. I learned so much from that guy. One of the best musicians I've ever been around. And a great dude. That's my brother. Love him, love him to life. And uh, you know, don't be scared to be funky. Have fun with your life. Loosen up. Chicken grease. Mm-hmm.